So tell me about your your book, uh, the brain fog. Um, fix. How, how does it work? And 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 because I've read it's got some amazing reviews, and and I know there's a lot of people really excited about. It. Tell me about it. Yeah, I I love this book. So mm-hmm. it, it really was a passion project for me. So the brain fog fix is really designed to, and and don't I, I hope your your audience doesn't get scared because it really is a, a lifestyle overhaul. It, it really addresses everything about your life. You know, it's it's broken down into three weeks, this, the seven-day mood revolution, the seven-day energy revolution, and the seven-day spirit revolution. So in the first week of the Brain Fog Fix, you're really using cognitive behavioral strategies to change the way you think, but you're also changing the way you eat. So you're going to do things um, like eating an omega-3 superfood every day. I'm sure being from Spain, uh, you eat a lot of delicious paella and, and great seafood. We know that seafood is probably one of the very best things for your brain because it has high levels of omega-3s, omega-3 EPA, which is your feel better omega-3, and also high levels of the omega-3 DHA, which is your think better, which will help to maintain Mm -hmm. cognitive function as you age. You're also going to eat seven servings of vegetables and whole fruits every day because we now know from a long-term study that that is the amount of uh, servings that the happiest people in the world eat. Uh, Seven. That most Amer- I, I would say a, a fraction of Americans and probably a fraction of, mm. of British people are eating seven servings of vegetables and whole fruits every day. But when you do that and you reduce the amount of sugar and flour you eat, you really start to feel better. And, and for vegetarians, I have some vegetarian omega-3 superfoods as well, like uh, walnuts and flaxseed. So in, in week two of the um, brain fog fix, that's the seven day energy revolution, you're going to reprogram your circadian rhythm. So most energy disorders, when people just don't feel awake at the right times, it's because our circadian rhythms are, they're just so out of whack. Because the blue light from that from that pad and from computers and from our phones, they, they, they create a signal because they're mostly blue light. Now that tells the pineal gland that it's daytime. So if you're checking your phone at 9, 10, 11 p.m. at night, your brain thinks it's daytime and it shuts the melatonin production down. So now we're needing sleeping pills to go to sleep and, and then our, our, our brain and our bodies don't really know when they're supposed to be asleep and when they're supposed to be awake. So uh, week two really helps you to uh, use some strategies to, to create those natural circadian rhythms and most notably one of the most powerful mood boosters out there that promotes neurogenesis or the creation of new brain cells which is exercise you'll exercise for 44 minutes a day and you also have this wellness shot of mine now now if if a reader doesn't read this book I hope this is the one strategy they use you combine a half teaspoon of turmeric a half teaspoon of black pepper and you just mix it in a little water like a shot glass and uh, one ounce or two ounces of water this combination has been shown to uh, not only decrease inflammation but it may be the single best strategy out there for preventing dementia and Alzheimer's disease because it blocks the accumulation of amyloid plaques in the brain and it's why senior citizens in rural India have over 90% less Alzheimer's disease uh, compared to uh, seniors in other parts of the world. Um, then in the and we can't neglect our spiritual lives too, right? I think a lot of experts talk really all about nutrition, all about relationships. Well, I'm a very whole person centered Mm. uh, guy. And and, and so the seven day spirit revolution, you are going to do a 12 minute meditation every day. And I I, I love 12 minute meditations, Bernardo, because I don't think uh, very many of us have the resources to move to India for six months and just, you know, walk away from our families and our jobs. I mean, it'd be lovely if we all had those resources. But I, but I think 12 minutes is great and, and clinically it's significant because we know that in brain scans, there are positive changes in the brain with just 12 minutes of practice a day.